Hello and welcome to Devil's Advocate. Last year in November, Nitish Kumar was elected Chief Minister of Bihar amidst high expectations. Six months later, how is he tackling the incredible challenges he faces? That's the key issue that I shall put today in an exclusive interview to the Chief Minister of Bihar, Nitish Kumar. Chief Minister, you came to power in Bihar claiming that law and order would be your immediate challenge and you promised to make Bihar crime free. Yet in the first 100 days, we've seen 141 kidnappings and over 400 murders and the police chief tells me that the crime graph continues to rise. Have you failed? No. You know, we have promised that we will improve law and order, not only law and order. Rather, we have come that we will provide good governance. And we are trying our best for that. But is law your... and order is one of the things we have to tackle. But you know, on the subject of law and order, police records show that there is a murder every two hours, a rape every six hours, and one bank is looted every single day. Worse still, eight days ago, you had five murders on the streets of your capital in broad daylight in just one week. I don't know how you have manufactured these figures. Police records but quoted by the BBC. I do not know, I do not know what uh, you have read in police records. But one thing I want to tell you, that so far as law and order is con concerned, it has improved. Not only improved, now people are feeling safe. Nobody is afraid now. Five people Earlier killed. Earlier people were afraid. Five people Moving killed out. on the streets of I, Patna I, I in broad know. daylight. I don't know. I have not seen the figures. Neither I have seen the figures during past government, nor I have seen the figures in my government. Chief Minister, a murder every two hours, but a rape know, every six hours. Can people feel safe? <laughs> no. Yes, people feel safe. Despite the you rape, go, despite you the go, murder? You go out from here and you interview people. You will find people are... Totally now they feel safe. They feel safe or have they got used to the crime situation? Which is it? Not at all. I tell you. Everybody is safe now. You know, number of programs have been organized in the city. Epicon co conference was organized here. More than 4,000 physicians from all over the country. It is very prestigious conference. Let me complete it. They attended it. Here, earlier they were afraid, they came to Patna after change of the government, they were enthused, they came in large numbers along with their family members. Let me put it they, they, they went back as happy persons. Number two, they are lucky. All India, all India, national no. youth festival. Let me put it like this. No, do you, do you claim credit for improving the law and order situation? Yes, why not? Why but do not? you think you've done enough? No, no, who has said this? You know, but it has improved considerably. Now, nobody, nobody is afraid. You say no one's afraid. Let me quote to you. Let me, number, let me quote to you, two, number the two, former two, Director two, General you of have, Police. You have, you, have, you, have, you have given the figures. And I am giving you the feelings. But which feelings is more important? People. What happened? Figures are facts. Feelings oh, are yes. emotions. Yes, not only emotions. That is based on facts. There was no incident. Number one. Number two, there was youth festival organized here, national youth festival. More than 4,000 delegates attended it. Chief Minister, no, no, let no me, incident. Let number, me, number three, let, let, let me, me come back. Let me come back. You're giving me incidents one by one. Let me point out to you what senior former director generals of police, DP Ojha, to name one, say. They say, if Nitish Kumar is serious about tackling crime, there are two simple things he can do. Firstly, a hundred people control the crime syndicates in Bihar, petition the courts, get their bail cancelled and have them transferred out of the state. Why is he not doing it if he's serious? I think he is not aware what we are doing. You know, in, during Holi, there used to be a very violent Holi all the time. And now? This time, no incident. Let me put you, nothing, nothing let me but, put you what your own police officials tell us. Give me a chance. I, I, your, I officials say, which... your officials say that the measures that the Nitish Kumar government has taken are farcical. 
They talk about your surrender and rehabilitation policy. They say it is an attempt to try and get criminals to surrender on cash. What's happened is that no serious big don has surrendered, but many small-time criminals have found an opportunity to make money. I don't know whom you have talked. If you are talking about some retired people, they had ample opportunity during their time. Those we have done nothing there during tenure. But I tell you one thing: you were, you were, you were how many telling people, me about how many some people, suggestions. How many you know, people have surrendered tackling, under your new policy? For tackling, 191 people surrendered in Kosi Belt. That's right. And the that's proposal, it. the proposal came from. That area. But no big dons no have surrendered. No, no, Small was... time crooks who are trying to make money after investing in a gun because they want the two lakh rehabilitation have package. You, have, you, have you studied the problems of that area? You talk to people there. When I went there in surrender function, you could see the enthusiasm of the crowd. Vast number of people if attended you're serious, that meeting. Number one, I will come to the second point which you mentioned about one retired officer, about one retired officer. You know what is happening? That means they are not aware what is happening. You know, on day one of this year, on 1st of January, there was a kidnapping and murder in Gopal Ganj. You know, during, uh, within 93 days, the accused were convicted. Chief Minister, just last can I, can week, I, can I tell you, I tell you, can I, 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 let's, not get into, let's not get into individual details, let's look at the big it's picture. not individual details, you will know the things, what are happening. 42% of your own JDU MLAs, 52% of the MLAs of your allied party, the BJP, face criminal charges. People say that if Nitish Kumar is serious, can he give a guarantee that the law will prevail against every MLA who faces a criminal charge, or will he protect them? I am not going to protect anybody. Law will take its own course. In which case, why? But, but it, your figure is totally incorrect. No, it's from the, it is from the affidavits filed by the MLAs themselves. What is themselves. the affidavit? What is the affidavit? The Just affidavits refer to the actual charges that they you face. People, they put it you down. people combine all the figures. Those who are arrested during political agitations also, cases are registered. Cases are registered. You know how many people are there who have been booked under serious offences. But I am not going to... 16 individuals I'm not going, from the JDU alone have I'm been booked under serious offences. I am not going to offenses. indulge in arguments. I totally... I don't believe it. All right. You don't I, indulge I in arguments. also people. Let, let me put it like this. There might be few persons, few people against whom serious charges are there. Chief Minister. But you know... I asked that you a simple is, question. Is, is, no, is I asked you a simple question. I'm, I'm, I I'm asked giving you a simple reply. I asked you if you will protect I these people. Not, Are you I protecting them? Not at all. Then answer one question to me. Yes. Why have you transferred cases against Prabhu Nath Singh for abduction and murder and his brother from Hazari Bagh to Bhagalpur? Is it to protect someone who is today the leader of your party no, in the Lok Sabha? We have not transferred any case. The press says you have. I don't know. The press says you have. The cases were transferred from Hazari Bagh to Bhagalpur. No, no. There must be certain uh, under certain court orders. Even the government cannot transfer cases. The press have said so. You've never denied it. No. Even, even know. in terms of no. handling ministers in your government who face charges, you've taken contradictory positions. Let me give you an example. Jitan Ram Manji was sacked from your cabinet within hours of being sworn in. Yes. Yet there are seven other people in your cabinet who face charges, including Gautam Singh, Minister of State for Industries, who is accused oh, of yeah. attempt to murder. No, 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 that is the charge for the charge. election. Attempt to murder. No, no, no. We have examined it. He has himself declared it. He has himself declared there might be cases registered against some per person. It's registered but against no, him, self not declared. Not at all, not at all. When the issue was raised, I have personally examined it. Let me bring up something else. People say that the biggest source of crime in your state is the presence of private armies, and the biggest private army is the Ranbir Sena. Yet they say that instead of curbing and controlling the private armies, Nitish Kumar instead has gone and scrapped the Amir Das Commission just as it was coming close to completing a report on the worst massacre in recent time. That is rubbish. Completely, but that is an exercise in falsehood. We have not. 
uh, uh, done anything for Amir, uh, Amir Das Commission. It was working for the uh, last so many years. Since 96, 97. 96, 97 or whatever or year. But you terminated it. No. The, during president rule, it, this commission was given last extension. And all yes, that. Done nothing. But do you know what Mr. Amir Das said to the Telegraph on the 3rd of May? I he says, I tell you, what. he says, I, I finished say, my I final say. hearing. I was about to write my report. All I need was, was a few months more. Yet Nitish Kumar denied it. He never met me. He never discussed with me. He never asked me where I had reached. He simply why should cut I the do all these off. things? Why should I do all these things? Gradually, why? The For press what? says the press says that you were worried about the report. I have not report. read the press report. I have not read the report. But shouldn't report. you? The press says that but Nitish why? Kumar was worried that the report would indict his ministers, that the report would indict senior BJP leaders, that the report would indict, according to CNN, IBN, a total of 37 top politicians. I don't know. Were you protecting them? But we are nowhere in the picture. The Let last me? last extension was given by uh, uh, during governor's rule up till I think you uh, could have January of this month. More. He's yes. very close to finishing his report. In who fact, who says? Who says? Amir Das himself who speaking stopped? to the Telegraph, third of May. I don't want to indulge in arguments on these things. I tell you, I have never answered a single question. Just for, uh, for the sake of record, I am answering you. My government is not at all involved. He was given last extension during president rule. And that's over. Except for the fact the press says that S.K. Modi, Nankishore Yadav, Murli Manohar Joshi, C.P. Thakur, never, never allies of yours, members of your government could have been indicted by the report. That's why Who you says? scrapped it. Who the says? press says. All the papers why, say it, why all television they, channels why say it. Why uh, 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 submit its report? He was very he close to submitting during it. governor's rule. He was very close to submitting it. I have, I, I, have, I, have, I, have been, I have been informed about the uh, you know the, the administration that he had given a please assurance that he will finish his work by that time. A number of extensions have been given by previous government. Except the interesting thing is you scrapped the Amir Das report and at we the same time scrapped. almost you have instituted a second inquiry into Bhagalpur. They say that, that is, you that instituted is not the Bhagalpur. That is not second inquiry. There was an original one I instituted you, I, by the RJD way inquiry. back in 19... It is a separate inquiry. But, go, through, go through the terms but, of but aren't you? But aren't you playing politics? You not instituted a Bhagalpur inquiry because it will put pressure on the RJD, you removed the Amir Das inquiry because your upper caste and Bhumihar supporters stand to benefit. Please correct yourself. We have not done anything to Amir Das Ayo. On the request of the commission, last extension was given during president rule. That expired during our tenure. It is not our fault. All right. Let me accept what you're saying. Let me put after you... After so many extensions, after so many extensions, if a commission is not submitting its report... What was the harm? Them, no, I tell you, that after, so many, them. after so many extensions, what was the harm in one more? Particularly when your critics say that what the Amir Das commission being scrapped proves is that Nitish Kumar's government no, is no, under no, the no, influence no, no, no. of the upper caste and the Bhumihars. That's what they're claiming. I tell you... No such proposal has come to us. Are you under that the was, influence? That was, that, that was last extension given by governor's rule, uh, given by under the, His Excellency the governor during president's rule, and that is over. Leave Amir Das aside. Let's come to the point so you people have to make. Leave Amir Das no, Your critics say... He is your, your absolutely critics say, on wrong footing. Your critics say... He is indulging in politics, I tell you. Amir Das? Yes. He's indulging in politics. Is that why you scrapped the commission? He's playing politics. I Is that you. why you scrapped the commission? Because no, you no, were I scared that he might be getting close to the I have not allies. scrapped the commission. You didn't renew really it? But if these statements are being issued by any, you know, commission, then that means absolutely it is political statement. Let me put you very quickly. How can what you, let me put you. Let me put statement. you what your critics say. Your critics say that in scrapping the Amir Das Commission, we the have not is showing that he is under the influence of the no, upper caste. No, not at all. We have not scrapped. Are you? Are we you? have not scrapped. Are you acting under the influence of the I tell you, I am acting under nobody's pressure. But no pressure. No pressure. I tell you the three people who are named as being the big influences in your government and they are all big Bhumihar names. They say that you act under the pressure of Abhenand, 
the additional DG of police, they say you act under the pressure of PK Sahi, the Advocate General, and most of all, they say you act under the pressure of Lalan Singh, the JDU president. additional DG. He's playing his role. He's very competent officer. Advocate General, I have full trust in Advocate General. He's very competent uh, advocate. लर्नेड एडवोकेट लेकिन ये कह रहे हैं थर्ड पर्सन इज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ माई पार्टी ये कह रहे हैं कि इसका नतीजा ये है कि आपने कहा था कि आप बिहार में सुशासन लाएंगे ये सुशासन और दिया आपने भूशासन माफ करिएगा ये सब विकृत मानसिकता वाले ऐसा करते तो ये बिल्कुल झूठ है बिल्कुल झूठ है झूठ नहीं है इस परवर्ट इट्स एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अ परवर्ट माइंड इज नीतीश कुमार द मैन हु रन इज गवर्नमेंट और आर दे पीपल बिहाइंड यू द भूमि हार्स इन दी अपर कास्ट हू इन्फ्लुएंस यू नॉट एट ऑल नॉट एट ऑल यू आर योर ओन मास्टर इट्स इट्स टोटली रबिश यू आर योर ओन मास्टर यस व्हाई नॉट इन व्हिच केस लेट्स टेक अ ब्रेक एंड लेट्स कम बैक एंड टॉक अबाउट व्हाट यू आर डूइंग फॉर डेवलपमेंट इन बिहार व्हाट यू आर डूइंग फॉर द लैंडलेस व्हाट यू आर डूइंग टू ब्रिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंडस्ट्री विल बी बैक इन अ मोमेंट टाइम टू लुक एट द डेवलपमेंट चैलेंज दैट नीतीश कुमार हैज टेकन ऑन सी यू आफ्टर दैट Welcome back to an exclusive interview with the Chief Minister of Bihar, Nitish Kumar. Chief Minister, let's turn to your plans for developing Bihar. Ninety percent of your people live in the countryside, and seventy percent of them either have no land or holdings under one acre. Do you accept that comprehensive land reforms are absolutely essential if these people are to prosper? Yes, of course. You have no doubt about that. that. No doubt about You're it. You are completely committed to is, land reform. That is part of our program. Except, can I interrupt and point something out? You say it's part of your program. On the 15th of December, you announced that you would be creating a land reforms commission. Five months have passed. You've done nothing about it. You haven't formalized the announcement. You've appointed no one. No, no. That is under process. So how long is it going you to be under process? You know, just last week the cabinet has approved the entire common minimum program. That is agenda for good governance. But Chief Minister, five months no, between cabinet an announcement just... and even today you haven't formalized it. Why are you behaving so slowly? No, no, we are we are consulting people. What is there to consult about? We have to consult about the people, about experts. I am told that there are people who are ready to give you names to put on the land reform commission overnight. They've offered you names overnight, but you haven't been keen no, no, to have, I have them. I have, I have, I am going to discuss the entire thing on. coming sunday if it's taken you 5 months and you still haven't announced the commission it can't be no, a major no, it priority takes time. it takes it takes time it's a very serious thing do you think you land have land reform is very serious thing and you know the program is for whole 5 year Except it is not for 2 months or 4 months will, or 5 months when will the land reforms commission come into being i think it will come very soon well, what is very soon i am consulting the people will it happen in 2000 i am going to discuss the entire thing on sunday but will it happen in 2006 Just why not? Does that mean yes or certainly, does that mean possibly? Certainly, certainly, certainly. So before the end of December 2006, you will have created a I land reform commission. I think much, much, much before that. You know what people say? People say the real problem is that the bureaucracy that Nitish works around are themselves landowners. They are upper caste. They are not going to encourage land reform. They are going to stifle it. I think nobody has come forward to create obstacles on the, in the way of. land reforms do your civil servants to... support you i don't think that stage has not come are you worried we are, that we are, we are good, not at all worried people have given us mandate i know what about, how to work what about the upper caste supporters what about the upper level of the kurmi and kormis it's, who it's, support it's, you it's will they the, will they support land reform it's not the question of upper caste or backward caste it's the question of land reform and you are committed and to lot, it and land reform is a very wide thing a number of things will have to be done proper land reform is required for bihar's growth and development you know most of the people are dependent upon agriculture absolutely so without land reforms without agrarian reform bihar cannot prosper you see this is very interesting you recognize the importance of land reform and yet 5 months after you said you would set up a commission it's, nothing it's, happened it's, it's very little time except that it's very worried about 5 months it's 6 months of your time that people have wanted us for full 5 years so you think you got lots of time you can keep wasting it no, why it we are not wasting we are not wasting our time all right let's come to And a second so far so far as poor people are concerned 
what was my first decision i have implemented employment guarantee program in the entire state i grant that and you are the only state to do it you deserve yes. credit for it but let me come to the second and big that challenge you face hundreds of crores of rupees the second big challenge you face appointing a land reform commission does not involve any money except that it requires will yes it requires that is going there. against that is there. the interests of some of your supporters who are upper caste that, landowners that, do you that have that, that will that, that's that, the question do you yes, have the will i have that will you have the strength and i i i urge upon you to have that much confidence in me i want to put a blunt question to you you face some of the most difficult tasks and challenges as chief minister of bihar not just in terms of land reform but in terms of bringing investment to bihar a state that is starved of investment do you think that nitish kumar has the capacity to fulfill the difficult challenges he faces you know the time will just that i'm not going to boast anything but you know we have challenges we have we have taken up a very difficult task from land reforms to empowerment of down trodden to inviting investment quite right creating a climate but i'm asking a different question improving law and order I, i'm not asking and you know what 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 i have got what i have inherited you know you will be surprised to know what to talk of bureaucracy chief minister what to talk of any government machinery i understand machinery, the problems you face even even basic institutional arrangements were missing i understand that's why i'm asking no, you i have i have to resurrect everything that's why i'm you asking know, you will have the to question. give me some time no that's why i ask you the question are you confident you have the strength to do it yes why not are you confident you have the stamina to do it you know i'm working for how many hours are you confident you I have i think the... in delhi also Are you confident you have the political will and determination to do it? I have only that thing. That is your real strength. That's my real strength. People say that Nitish Kumar is the last hope of Bihar. If that you I'm fail, I am I am certainly aware. If you fail, do you realize what will happen to your state? That this thing I tell everybody. I tell everybody that as last hope people have reposed faith in us. so we have to perform there is no alternative available chief minister a pleasure talking to you on devil's advocate